Welcome back to another episode on B-Hole Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today, we take a look at a newly released movie in the Marvel Universe, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Growing up as a huge X-Men fan, I never truly followed the exploits of the villain Mandarin, but knew roughly about his powers and the Ten Rings and being one of Iron Man's greatest enemies. Later, as X-Men gained more popularity with the help of artist Jim Lee, I finally got to see what the matter was all about and in action in a small story arc with Wolverine, Jubilee, and Psylocke, who also briefly became known as one of my favorite villains, Lady Mandarin. Not seeing the name Mandarin until Iron Man 3, I was very disappointed to see how they depicted the character Although Ben Kingsley is an awesome actor, through and through, I felt they got the criminal mastermind all wrong, based from the comics. Seeing Shang-Chi as a property coming to the big screen, I was super excited to see how Tony Leung, taking the role as a supervillain, Mandarin, and Keeper of the Ten Rings, would actually be. Normally, with such excitement, I'm usually let down in the end, so let's see how this one goes. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings was produced by Marvel Studios and released by Disney in 2021. This film stars Simu Liu, Aquafina, Menger Zhang, and Tony Leung. This is a great cast of characters that truly brings their emotions on screen, where you actually feel for their background. The story and character development, although simple, is really brought to life with fantastic emotional drama, especially from Tony Leung, as even the villain can be emotionally invested that even the audience will feel sorry for him. The visuals are vibrant, with great camera angles that truly keep your eyes glued to the screen. Marvel definitely did their homework on this one in referencing the comics, fantasy, and martial arts. Whether you like the visuals to fight scenes, everything seemed to flow in the right direction and above everything that you're used to. Being over two hours long, I felt that the film never dragged through the story or even in the long action set pieces. The film action is at the heart of the movie and is really dealt in so well, it makes martial arts films in Asia provinces feel anything but jealousy in how this film was handled with its action to its overall presentation. I was a huge fan, and still am, of Black Widow's release earlier this year of 2021 and how they took a heroine with no powers at all and ran with an action spy film that made it one of the best I've ever seen. Now Marvel has taken the mantle again with Shang-Chi. I feel that they took the martial arts fantasy action genre and truly made this one of the best if not best martial arts film I have ever seen. At its heart. It does a wonderful job with the action, but mixing in fantasy, story, emotional grief, and even comic relief, you get a film of epic proportions and that is a must see to really believe how much effort and nailing almost every part was. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings gets a 9.0 out of 10 for its absolute fantastic fight scenes, engrossing storytelling, fantastic visuals, and even that comical touch that truly makes the film my favorite so far in 2021, hands down. This one will be hard to beat. That's it for me on this look at Marvel Shang-Chi. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Okay. We make a good team. Damn.